what is going on guys long time no see um we're gonna be trying something a little different today i'm gonna try shooting this whole video with just my gopro um i've never been here before somewhere in like steep falls or Lewington. it's right along the river but we're gonna go check it out and uh we're good to explore together all right stay tuned all right Looks like there's a few different trails down here. Now right, we're gonna try this guy first and see where this goes. Um, but until then, just stay tuned. Some sort of old building or something up there. Looks like it's an old like spillway or something, an old dam or something. Hydraulic station probably. Bunch of metal, you guys probably can't see that down there in the water. There's tons of steel beams and old remnants of the dam down there probably. Not a bad spot though. So far so good. Let's see what else we can find. Must have been like an old mill here or something at one point in time. Bunch of graffiti on the walls. I'm assuming this is probably like a turbine house of some sort. I don't think there's too much more of this uh, bunch of rocks and stuff. Pretty, pretty good. I mean, it's like 10 foot walls down here. And then if you go here, looks like a drain, probably looks like some sort of cradle at one point. I had a turbine wheel on there. I'm actually going to try to get a little bit there or now, but I'll uh, keep you guys posted. I don't really know how much farther that way we can go, so. Alright. We got down as far as I'm willing to go. But it seems as though... That was all probably a building at one point in time, from that pillar to that pillar. And it seems like we're kind of standing in the... Uh, I'm thinking this is like an old mill or something. I don't really know. I'm trying to pay attention here. It looks like maybe an old mill or... Um, power plant of some sort. I don't know. Nonetheless, it's interesting. I did notice some trails across the bridge. You guys can't see the bridge from here, but some trails over there that we're gonna go check out. Um, if I find anything cool, I'll keep you guys close to I just wanted to let you guys know too, this is my first time ever shooting like a decent video uh, with my GoPro. So if it's shaky or if I mess up a little bit on the editing, um, don't hate too much, right? Just, just learn it. Just learning it could be easy with me, alright? Alright guys, so this side, uh, don't mind me, I lost my sunglasses the other day in the woods, so I'm gonna squint, but this side didn't seem to be all that exciting. Um, it seems like there's a lot of water right now in the river, so that could be why. Um, but that little building behind me over there is pretty cool. Um, the river's off to here. That's that big wall we showed you in the first clip. Uh, but I think we're going to go try to go on the other side and just kind of see. We're just going to explore. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, I've never been here, so you guys are experiencing this with me, you know, firsthand. Um, this trail's a bit overgrown, so I have to assume that not a lot of people come down here. Um, I have driven over the main bridge here, um, and on nice days, you usually see people swimming and stuff, so it's kind of... We can go check this little trail out. Um, it just seems kind of weird that these trails are so overgrown. Uh, but maybe I'm just not in the right spot. Check this out. Alright. Got another bad little spot here. Uh, 
doesn't really go anywhere though. It just kind of goes, just goes way down. It's kind of like all rocky. You know, what you would expect out of a river. So I'm probably not going to go on there. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it'd be a cool little beach if you're like trying to find a place to swim, but no need for us to go on there. Let's try to get on the other side too, there's new trails over there. If I'm even along over there, I don't know. We're going to find out right now though. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, made it. Road's busy. Uh, this trail looks a little more promising. Um, ouch, thorn bushes. Besides that part, I guess it looks a little more promising. Um, I don't know, I mean, here, I'll show you. It's like a, it almost looks like an old road, kind of like an old access road or something. And I kind of see the ditch over there. Ditch over here. It's just like, Real nice sand, you know, it's nice to pack down. It makes me think it's a old access road, but I don't really know because I've never been here. I don't even know where we're going right now, but we're gonna find out. There's all kinds of little cutoffs in the woods, too, that like I'm assuming people go fishing and stuff. Um, the sign does say no camping and like no overnight parking, no partying, all that stuff, which is kind of a bummer because it would be kind of it would be kind of a cool place to park and go camping. Have the roar of the river in the background, that'd be nice. But we can't do that here, so we won't break the rules, I guess. Um, I'm gonna keep hiking down this path, and when we get to somewhere good, I will tune you guys in. Until then, see ya. All right, guys. I just came upon a little brook of sorts and I have a funny feeling this is probably where the trail ends unless I want to get my feet wet. Uh, but let me give you a look here. This little waterfall. It kind of goes down and it like curves uh, over here. It kind of starts off where we're at. Seeing the wrap around and dump into the river. We have had we have had a lot of rain uh, the past, well, I don't know, 48 hours or so. So I'm assuming that when it's not so high here, you could probably walk across this. I just don't really know if I want to get my feet all wet. I'm still wearing my work shoes, so. It looks like a, it looks like you could, I guess, if it was low enough. I don't see any rocks to skip across, so we might not be going over there today. Kind of let down though. It's kind of a. I was expecting more out of this. Oh, this is pretty cool. Check this out. So the stream comes down. Uh, we were just. We were up in those trees, kind of just so we can see the waterfall. It comes down, and the natural course stops. Dang, right along that rock. That one rock changed the entire course of this brook. Now it goes this way. That's pretty cool, huh? But, this water, oh, where are we going? Hold on, let me fix you guys. This water is also moving pretty swiftly, so I don't think I'm going to be making any attempts to get across over that side. Which I don't do as much over there anyways. I, I don't know, I feel like from the bridge this place looks so much cooler. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just missing the, uh, I don't know, the GoPro's being all weird, but maybe I'm just missing the cool part of all this here. I mean, I don't know. I'm just not seeing it, you know? So, uh, anyways, I'm going to try to find something cool, and then I'll tune you guys back in. All right. Hey, back again. Just past that brook. I must have missed it on the way in, but there's a, there's a sweet little beach right here. It's like... Yeah, I'll do a 360. River's right behind me. It's all the river. All sand. Right there. And all that. It's all chopped wood. And a fire pit. It looks like people kind of hang out here. I mean, this would be a pretty cool camp spot. 
Um, can't camp here, obviously, but we can actually get over to the... Oh, somebody left a chair. Check this out. <laughs> somebody must have been relaxing. He's left it here. Or it washed on the river. It's pretty dirty, but... We are upstream from where we were in the beginning of the video. Um, I don't... I just... I don't know. I, like I said, I feel like this place was... I feel like it looks a lot cooler from up on the bridge. I'll show you guys when we get back up on the bridge what I'm talking about. Uh... Not that it's not cool. I mean, it's it is cool down here. It's cool to explore new places. Um, I don't know. I've always just thought it was way cooler than this. I thought there was more to see down here. Um, I mean, like I said, the water is high, so that could have something to do with it. But tree right in that way. Um, but here's the end of the little stream we were just at. And you can see it's moving pretty good. Goes right out into the big river. It's uh, the Saka River in, in Maine comes from, starts up in the White Mountains, and if you guys watched that little edit that I made with the GoPro app, which, you know, GoPro app works pretty good, but it's not amazing, um, all those shots were taken up there, not on this river, but in the same area where this river starts, and now we're like, I'd say 60 or so miles downstream uh, from where, maybe even more, probably 75, 80 miles downstream from where it starts. Uh, but it is a big river and I enjoy doing a lot of kayaking which I'm sure you guys will see whenever I get off my butt and edit some videos um, but anyways I'm going to walk back to the bridge and uh, peace I'm out of shape and uh, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about from up on the bridge alright So on the way back to the car, or to the bridge, I mean, I noticed there was a fork in the trail. When I first came down, I was just looking, I was just looking uh, towards the river, so I didn't really realize this was here, but it seems as though I have found a snowmobile bridge, or a four-wheeler bridge. It kind of looks like snowmobiles to me, the way they have it built, but um, get a better view of the brook. Here, let me uh, spin you around. Down there, a big old tree fell years ago, and that's the same brook that I was just showing you down by the river. This bridge is awfully bouncy. I don't know who built that, but I don't want to build my house. Um, and it actually, this must be an old road too, because the brook, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it on here, the brook it goes right in there. That's a culvert right there, a big, uh, like concrete culvert probably rock from back in the day. I don't know if this is maybe like old train track uh, bed or um, an old access road of some sort. So obviously there's like a mill here so um, this actually loops back to the river so let's see. I'm gonna walk down a little ways and see where this goes and if it's anything cool I will bring you guys back. Uh, Seems like it kind of snakes around to where I was trying to go the first time. And, ow, you just off that stick, huh? And, uh, but yeah, so I'll see where this goes, and if it goes anywhere cool, I'll bring you guys back, all right? guys will never believe it. That trail took me right to where we were trying to go the first time. And look what I found here. Nice beach. Looks like the water was a lot higher this morning. You can see where the water line here. Oh, that's the water line. That means it just went a little bit higher this morning. Um, there's some pretty fast moving water in here too. I guess I've never... So up that way, you guys probably can't really tell in here, but that way was what I was telling you from the bridge. That's what you see. Uh, and I'll show you that on the way back. Uh, but this little beach is pretty cool. There's some trash in the water up here. We'll get that out. Um, nice, like, 
nice and sandy too in the in the water. I don't know if you guys can see in the water, but extremely sandy in there. Um, crap, I just got my feet wet. Hold on. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna hang out here for a minute and then um, we'll continue on up the trail because I think this trail goes probably kind of where we're trying to get to. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do it today, but also on the other side there's a I don't know, way over that way. All that side there. Um, there's a dirt road that goes down alongside of that. I've looked at it on Google Maps, I've never been down it. Uh, so maybe we'll do that a different day. Um, but for now, I'm going to hang out for a second and uh, we'll keep going up the trail. Alright, see ya. And just as I turn it on, we come to another beach. This one looks to be a little more washed up than the last one we were at, but there's another fire pit. We'll go down and check this one out too, this is pretty cool. Looks like we got a lot of runoff. There's be some wetlands up here, these bushes that kind of runs off down right where it's standing uh, in that direction. Um, I haven't gone too far without you guys. I don't know where we're going, uh, but I do want to get up those waterfalls. Uh, I also don't think this is the same trail that we came in on, but as long as we follow the river, we'll be alright. A little bit of running water there. Is it spring of some sort, maybe? Um, yeah, the trail we came in on was definitely a lot bigger than this, I feel like, but more like a road type thing. They must have got a lot of rain through here though. I mean, you can see, here, look at this. You can see the grass is all beat down from this little runoff here. And it seems to be actually flowing under the road now. I think that might have been what we were hearing. It looks like it's going under this ground here. It's coming out down there. Uh, could be wrong. I don't know, maybe that water's just coming from somewhere else. I don't know. Nor do I really care. Um, but nature is cool like that sometimes. Uh, a lot of down trees around here though. Real saturated soil. And it looks like we're coming up on... Oh, we might have scrambled out onto those rocks on the way back. Uh, looks like get out there a little ways. Uh, but we'll go up here and see... I almost think this might be a snowmobile trail because I'm looking at the roots in the ground all the rocks and stuff and uh it seems like some bills probably go over this in the winter time and they tear it all up yeah all these roots are all lined with snowmobile tracks this is the kind of stuff that really pisses me off though you know it's like why can't we have a good time and not picking shit up we're just gonna burn it there and do the trash you know i'm assuming some of these cars can't do this nice clearing right there and they just decided to not clean up their stuff, which is a real letdown. Huge house sitting right down the hill, right on the river. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Um, anyways, I'm going to walk just a little bit farther because the water's starting to calm down, so I want to go back to the, take you guys back to the water, uh, not, what, not waterfall, but the rapids, I guess. I guess we can go stand up here on this rock. Alright, right, when I get out there, I'll get you guys back, right? Yeah. Alright. We are almost to the rock. Uh, I drove some men in my pocket and we stopped over here. Uh, they just started with khakis. I can't leave without those. But it's uh, also really impressive to me how. Well, for one, the water. The water goes like four or five feet above this. I'm assuming they're in flood stage. Uh, but the other thing I was going to say is it's really impressive here. I'll flip it around. How these trees right here, this guy and that guy, little black flies everywhere. Which are annoying. And that guy, there's like no there. They're just growing in the rocks. You know, and they all are. All those ones, that guy, that guy. You know, they, I'm sure they took a beating. Um, I'm sure they took a beating in the, in the 
the heavy rapids and the water's just ripping through here from the snow melt in the north. Um, and I apologize about the audio too. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, maybe. Um, but we are, there's just trash everywhere around here. It's so sad to see. Um, I would have to imagine that this is probably why this town is called Steep Falls. Um, because they're pretty fucking steep. Uh, here, I'll show you. So we were, we were up in those trees, uh, actually we lost the tip, we kind of threw it off at this point. That was where the palm water was, way up the river, all calm, all the way up, and all of a sudden you could just drop down, you know, in the air or whatever. And uh, I'm not a genius, but I have to assume that's why they call this place Steep Falls. And I mean, you can get right down, right down to the water's edge. Uh, I mean, we're... That was 
little break. I think it is time to head back to the car. So I think we're gonna make our way away from the water so I can actually hear myself think, even though it is very peaceful. It's just awful loud. We got the hungry birds going on. Um, and the sun's gonna be setting, I don't know, another, I don't even know what time it is. It's almost six, so another like hour and 20 minutes probably we got before it's dark. Probably another hour before sunset. Um, oh my. Tight, yeah. The rat. Or me. I may, on the way home, or at least back to my home, um, stop at one of my childhood swimming holes, which is actually on the same river. Uh, just like probably, river-wise, probably five miles. Uh, Drive-wise, probably like two miles. Um, so, maybe I'll stop there we can, oh yeah, it's a lot darker in the woods, huh? Um, We'll stop there and kind of explore that. It's wicked small. It's just a little beach, kind of like the ones in the video here, uh, just on a different part. Uh, so, unless I find anything cool, I think that will probably be the end of it. Hopefully, I can figure out how to get out of here. This doesn't seem like the right trail, but I guess we'll have to just play it by ear, right? All right. All right. So I was on the bridge, this is a bridge, it's actually the Veterans Memorial Bridge here in, I don't know what the hell town we're in, Lemington, Steep Falls, something like that. Um, not that amazing. The water is really high right now, so you can't really get the full effect of what's actually going on, but you can see behind me, the bridge, and then if you turn this way, that's the village of Steep Falls behind me. Um, pretty cool place. It's a uh, quiet little village. Um, uh, not much going on. No restaurants, nothing like that. There's a little ice cream shop. It's pretty good. Uh, but other than that, I didn't get any shots off the bridge because not much to see. I mean, you already saw it all in the video. So, with that being said, that is another adventure. Um, you start first. You start with me. I start with you. And, uh, I guess we'll have to wait for the next one. All right, guys. See ya.